Aloha mai kako. Welcome to Halau na Pua Hala Kuno Kai. We are so excited to be here for a special celebration today. Um, not only is it uh, the week leading into Prince Kuhio's birthday. Oh, can you help me? I always forget to push that button. Our, our Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole will be celebrating his birthday this week. So on Friday, the 26th of March, we will celebrate Prince Kuhio Day. And so we are really gearing up to that celebration. Also, this morning, we woke up very early. I woke up at 5.30 to join um, Kumu Ke Kuhi Kanahele for the Piko Wakea Spring Equinox Ceremony. So do you know what, uh, much about the Spring Equinox? I believe it is when like the, the night and the day are in perfect equilibrium, right? So, so the equal amount of night and equal amount of day so hopefully all of the imbalance that we've been feeling in our world will come into balance today. It was a beautiful ceremony and I'm so thankful for things like the internet that we can join in on, on ceremonies like that. Um, they were coming live from, um, from the, the pit, La Lua Pele, and uh, we came, you know, joined them from right here in Nu'uanu Valley. So we have lots to celebrate today. We'll tell you why we're all dressed up in a little bit. But for now, I believe that it is time. Joining us here for our Saturday Ohana Hula classes. Originally, these were keiki classes, right? Um, but we found that so many of our Ohana, our Hula Ohana, are joining us from around the world that we wanted to make sure everyone felt welcome. So this is a slightly more beginner level, level class, um, but it's actually for all of us. So we start our Saturday classes the same way every time, uh, and we start with our Hawaii Pono E. So. Let's kuiluna, everyone. Stand on up. We're going to begin with the anthem of our uh, state, originally of our nation of Hawaii, Hawaii Pono'i, which was written by King David Kalakaua and Henry Berger. We will do all three verses. Okay, poli kekua, make your back straight like a cliff. Mahima kealo, your face shines as the moon. Hawaii Pono'i, off. Hawaii Pono'i, na na. Verse number two. Hawaii po no i na na i na li i na pua muli ko na po ki i makua la ni e kami ha me. Kawa e pale me ka ihe Hawaii i pono i e kala hui e o kau hana nui e ui 
So that was our Hawaii Ponoi. We are going to, yes? I didn't even know where I was going. I was just... You were just going with the flow. You were, didn't even know what verse you were on. Yeah. I know it's one of those days we're kind of just going with the flow. We're also on mm. spring break still. So if we seem a little bit off our game, that's because we're on vacation. Yeah. But we're coming to you anyway. So uh, Hawaii Ponoi is followed by our Oli Aloha. But before we do our Oli Aloha, we do want to say aloha to our friends all around the world. Let's see who is joining us today. So, aha. Uh -huh. Uh, it looks like we have Sylvia uh, joining us. Aloha, no. And let us know where you're from because sometimes I forget where you're tuning in from. Uh, I see Rai Moana is joining us from France. Bonjour and aloha. Aloha, Rai. Nice to see you. Linda, no worries. You're right on time. You have joined us right on time from Pennsylvania. Aloha, no, Linda. We also see Angelique. She says, Aloha Kako from Germany. Aloha. Aloha no. On the ceremony this morning, there were so many joining from Germany. It's so lovely to see. I see Tutu Kuule Williams joining us from just down the valley here in Nu'uanu. Aloha Kahiaka Tutu. What do you say? Hi. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for being a part of our Hula Ohana. It's good to see you. If we didn't get to say hello to you, we will definitely drop you a comment later on. But let's do our Oli Aloha, which of course is written by Kumu Pilahi Paki. And it spells out Aloha, not only in the letters of each line, but also in the meaning. So, Put your hands down at the sides, and we're going to look from one side of the room to the other to make sure we don't miss anyone. Oli aloha. Ah. So no ho ilalo. We're gonna go and have a seat on the ground. Our first prayer that we always start with is our mele ho o mai kai, which is our ho o nani, which is our Hawaiian doxology. So we're going to start here with this one. The first verse, of course, is written by Hiram Bingham, um, and then our second verse was added by Kumu Haunani Bernard Jr. So here we go with ho o nani. Ho o nani ka makua mau Ke ke iki me ka uhane no Ke akua mau ho o mai ka ipu You know, I um, last week I was sent a video of some of our hula students that were singing along. It was actually not this song. It was Hawaii Ponoi, and they were harmonizing with us. And I just love that so much. I am actually a choir teacher um, as well as a kumu hula. And so I love to hear those harmonizations. On the last week of the month, which will be next week, we'll do a little bit of harmony for Hawaiian doxology. So make sure you are pa'a in your melody if you're going to stick to melody otherwise feel free to harmonize i just love that we can harmonize even though we're all over the world so that was our doxology we're moving on to our next prayer which is a keakua i i learned a new word and can i remember it ah yes okay 
So AKL Kua is done in a style that's called call and response because there's someone who calls and there's someone who responds. But I learned the Hawaiian word for this type of chant is called mele kahoa hoa. Do you know what a hoa is? A hoa is a friend. So a mele kahoa hoa is a friend friend chant. Friend friend chant, that's right. And I also learned one more term, which is um, the person who calls out, I always said was the alaka'i. But I learned from Kumu Kekuhi, I was watching her on Facebook, and she said that's called the puana. And then the response is called the haina. Like, haina ia mai. Yeah. So we have the puana and we have the haina. Isn't that kind of interesting? Okay, so you can choose to be the beginner or the ender or the puana or the haina, but we're going to do a mele kahoa hoa called ekea kua, which is actually a pule. Okay, so here we go. Ekea kua pa. Ekea kua. Ekea kua. Mahalo no. Mahalo no. Mahalo ya oi. Mahalo ya oi. No ke ya la. No ke ya la. Amene. 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 Mahalo. Beautiful job. Yes. We still need to remember to put the second. Ah, oh, yes, I know. I still don't have two amenes on my slide. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe in April. We'll work on that. <laughs> Why not? All right. So we just said thank you for this day. And like I mentioned, today is a very special day because it is the spring equinox. So at the rising of the sun this morning, I attended virtually a ceremony where they did this next chant, which is e -ala e, where they talked about the rising of the sun. And remember, I said we normally do it at three times here at Hula. Um, they were rising up the sun, and they were actually waiting to see that little sliver of the sun come over the edge of the, the horizon. And I counted. I think they did it either five or six times, which is really not bad for those of you who have gone on a hike to try to raise it up. Sometimes if you start too soon, 20 times later, you're still, anyways. So here we go. Ella A, we'll just do it three times because the sun is already up. Okay? Can you give us a start, please? Join in. Ella A, pa. Ella A, kalai kahikina, ika muana, kamuana ho ho nu, ika leva, kaleva nu, ika hikina, ayakala. E ala e, I'm gonna hold second time, go. E ala e, kala i ka hikina, i ka muana, ka muana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu, i ka hikina, ayakala. E ala e, I'm gonna hold last time, go. E ala e, kala i ka hikina, i ka muana, ka muana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva. Very good. Our sun is up and shining. We always like to ask you folks, Pehea Kianila, in your neck of the woods, how is the weather? And for today, I want to see some emojis in the comments down below. Will you send us a little emoji, a little picture of what the weather looks like in your area of the world, perhaps, and, oh, um, um, do we, we have, have that, that Pehea Kianila? Oh, there you go. So if you wanted to know some of the words for Pehea Kianila, uh, up here, Kela Malie means it's going to be what type of day? A Malie. A Malie <laughs> day, a calm day. How about Kela Vela? A hot day. Kela Ho is what? Rain, snow, hail. Frozen rain. Yes. Snow. Mm. How is snow? Malo'o is a hot, arid, dry day. Hilaua, hopefully we don't have, oh, here it is. Rainy. He, hopefully not too much rain. Hilaua. Hila makani. Windy. Windy. It is very windy right now. So it's actually not so malia. It's more makani. Hila ino is going to be what type of day? Sunny day. 
a thundery, stormy day. And then maybe it's not even a lot at all. It's hey, pole. It's a night, which our, our friends maybe in uh, Germany, it's getting closer to that, right? Hela o malu malu means it's a cloudy day. Mm -hmm. And hela anu anu means... It's rainy. No. It's a sweaty day. No, it's a cold, cold, brr, kind of cold day. Why is day. it sweaty? I don't know why I chose that one. Anyways, drop an emoji into the comments and hopefully we can see what kind of day it is for you. Did anybody do it? Oh, it looks like Uncle Frank said... Cool it's a cool it's a cool guy day maybe it's a sunny day because he has to wear his sunglasses so there we go very good okay let's return to our oli let's come on back are we back okay we're back all right at this time we are actually going to do um the sun rising oh no we already did the sun rising we're going to do a whole mind which helps us to focus ourselves okay so to bring us back to Hula, now that we've talked about the weather, how's the weather? Uh, we're going to talk about learning the knowledge about our songs, Eho Mai. Okay, so here's another one that we do three times. All right. Eho Mai Pa. Eho Mai Ka Ike Mai Luna Mai Eho Na Mea Una No Ea O Na Mele Eho Mai Eho Mai Eho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a una no e a o na mele eho mai eho mai eho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na Mahalo, mahalo. Okay, I think it's time for some ipu. So, will you go and grab your ipu and your pale? Of course, the ipu is a hollowed out gourd. If you don't have an ipu, you can use a uh, milk jug, you can use a um, orange juice jug um, with a handle on it. You can use a box. I've, I've used a, a cardboard box before. Really anything that can resonate in there would be nice. Um, some of my students like to use hydroflask. You can use that. That's fine. Whatever you like. So this is our mele ipu heke ole. We're going to make our ipu before we, um, not really make, they're already made. But we're going to show how the ipu is made using the mele ipu heke ole. Makoko? Okay. Hanava ka ipu heke ole. Pa. Hana bau ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole Hana bau ika ipu heke ole ika papa Hana no eo Hana ho Hana bau ika ipu heke ole ika ipu heke ole Hana bau ika ipu heke ole I was just playing with you. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the pa i pa i right now. Let's review. The pa beat has one u and one te. Remember, you should be holding the neck of the ipu with your left hand as I am, and then pa i with your right hand with a nice cupped hand. Okay, so let's do that pa beat pattern. Ready, set, here we go. Very good. Ku means to stop or stand. So when I say ku, that means stop. stop. Second beat is called the kahela. Kahela is the double beat. So you get the u te te. Let's try it four times. Um, eight times. Ready, set, here we go. One. Very good. The last beat, of course, is called the ku ku or the triple beat. This one is gonna go u u u te. Not sixteen times. We're just gonna do this one four times. Okay. Ready, set, here we go. A one and a two and a three and a four and very good. Okay. A few patterns to get your.
your brain going this morning. We're gonna do pa kahela, pa kahela, pa kahela, kuku. Ready? Okay. Mark, set, ready, go. Nice job. Next one is gonna be kahela, 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 pa, pa kahela, kuku. Okay. Easy. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set. Here we go. Kahela, kahela. Kahela and a pa, say with pa, kahela and kuku. Okay, a long one for all you smarty pants out there. Smarty pants? Smarty pants. Smarty pants. Pants on. <laughs> okay, so we want a pa, kahela, kahela, pa. I call that like a sandwich, yeah? Pa is the bread and kahela is the goodies inside. So starting off with pa, kahela, kahela, pa. Okay, now you're gonna flip the sandwich inside out. Kahela, pa, pa, kahela. Then we're gonna do our pattern, pa kahela kuku, and then we're gonna flip the pattern, kuku kahela pa. Okay. Okay, so we have Wait, a so pa kahela kahela pa, that's the first sandwich. Then kahela pa pa kahela, that's I the second it. sandwich. I then pa kahela kuku, then kuku kahela pa. You got this. I got did this. you have your coffee this morning? No. I did. Okay, ready? <laughs> Starting with pa kahela, ready? Set. Here we go, a pa, kahela, kahela, and a pa, flip it up, kahela, and a pa, a pa, and kahela, a pa, kahela, kuku, kuku, kahela, and a pa, hey, very good, put your ipu away, 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 put your ipu away, that's not the word to the song. <laughs> All right, let's Kuiluna stand on up, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do today <laughs> and why we're wearing white. Uh, the why we're wearing white part is going to come a little bit later. Right now, I'm going to do a quick review. So actually, you can take a rest over here. So we have been celebrating Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole, and on Saturdays, we've been focusing specifically on his home. Um, he actually had multiple homes, but the one that we are honoring is called Pua Leilani. Pua, of course, means flower. Lei is a garland that you wear either around your neck or across your body. And Lani means beautiful or heavenly, heavenly. So Pua Leilani, the garland of heavenly flowers, was the name given to his home, um, which was was gifted to him by his Hanai mother, Kapi'olani, and um, it was down at Waikiki. Do we still have a picture of that home, Pua Leilani, or did we get rid of that one? Okay, no problem. Okay, there's Jonah. There's Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole. Isn't he so handsome? This um, photo I actually found after some research was actually not taken here in Hawaii. This was taken um, when he went up to Washington, D.C., when he was a delegate up there, and so there was a studio up on the mainland that took this gorgeous photo of him, and we're so lucky to have this beautiful photo of our prince, um, who, who was the people's prince. Uh, a lot of people said that if the Hawaiian monarchy had continued, that Prince Jonah um, may very well have become the king of Hawaii if we had continued with, with kings and queens. So now I wanted to tell you um, about one specific side of Kuhio, uh, ab about him. But before we do, let's, let's review the verses, okay? So here's verse number one. He aloha ia no a o kiki. You're going to start, remember your, ha your hand is by your center. He aloha, and you're going to spin around to one side. Ia no. And waikiki means the spouting water. So we're going to do a little wave to the right and to the left. Oh, by the way, are you sitting down? Stand up, let's go. We're going to dance, okay? It's time to dance. Okay, so here we go, from your center. Oh, not you. Very confusing. I was talking to the people in TV land, Facebook land. You can shut up. Okay. Hey, aloha, ia no. Thank you for listening. Ah, oh, waikiki, Now, the, the whispering C, you're going to come from your lips. And if you want to give me a little shh, kanehe, okay, kai. And then you're going to rewind it back. Droop. Havana, Havana. Then you're going to follow that hand. Lock your right hand into your waist. Wave from the side to the front and switch from the side to the front. Okay, so let's try from here. Uh, we can do it without the words so that they can see the feet. We're going to spin around to the right. Ready, here we go. 
Hey, aloha, e a no, wave to the right. A o wai ki ki e a, whisper. Kanehe o ke kai, wind it back. Havana, Havana, lock it in. Ba di dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. That's the first verse. And on the recording by Kahawanu Lake, the one that we are modeling our hula after, they do this verse two times. So you get two chances to get it right or pay the price. Right. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. So that's the first verse that we covered two weeks ago. Remember, if this feels like it's going way too fast, this is your first time joining us. Welcome. And um, there's a replay. It's actually linked in the description to this video. You can go back and watch the replay. Um, and then, you know, you can take your time to learn that first verse. That was two weeks ago on week one. Okay, so week two, um, just last week, we did Pauku Elua, which is verse number two. And again, I'm mirroring you. So whatever I do, this is your right, this is your left. So Paiho Kamakani talks about the wind. So the left hand is going to be out to the side. Right hand is going to circle over the head. Paiho, other side. Kamakani. And then it brings with it, the wind carries the footprints on the wind. So you're just kind of bringing that wind side to side. Let's try again. Paiho kamakani. Left hand out to the side. Ready and go. Paiho. Other side. Kamakani. Diagonal down. Alave ma That's it. And the levels for that starts above the head, come to about eye level, and then cross from eye level about to shoulder level. Okay? Now this motion looks very similar to whispering. But this one is going to be the fragrance. You smell something so pungent, let's say, because it's actually not a flower in this case. It is the lipoa seaweed, which we talked a little bit about last week. So hands out to the side. This time it comes across the nose like it's wafting the breeze. Ke'ala ona ona. Then you're going to bring your hands. Oh, kalipoa. Remember, your lipo is not a flower, so you're going to let it lay down in your hands a little bit. I'll show you. My hands are kind of just like this. The thumb is holding that lipo as if it were draping down like this. Did you know that they used to make lay out Not the lipo, but they used to actually. Won't see me wearing one of those anytime soon. You know, um, the ones that they would make lay out of, you might have been able to eat them, but they would often wear the lei lipo for medicinal purposes. So they would wear this garland of um, of limu, and then it was like this wearing of the limu would kind of take out any kind of sickness from them, and then they would take that limu and put it back into the ocean to kind of let the sickness go away from them. So you don't want to eat, after you have all the sickness in the limu, you don't want to eat it because then you get sick with it, right? Anyway, if there's no sickness on the limu, then you can eat. Okay, so paiho kamakani, let's do those hands again. Blows the wind. Paiho kamakani, side to side. Lave ma liya, fragrance. Ke ala na na o kalipoa. Then you're gonna hula to the front and hula to the front. Okay. Shall we try it with hands and feet? Let's give it a try. Okay. So we're going to do a kaholo to the right. Ready, go. Paiho, other side. Kamakani, across. Alave ma aliea. Ke ala ona ona. O kalipoa. And hula to the side and front. Okay. Now, the jump thing about Kahanu, Kahawanu Lake's version, Kahawanu Lake's version is the first verse he does two times. Yay! The second verse he does one time. Boo. Hula dancers hate that, right? Um, because that means you only get one chance to get it right. Now, this whole idea of doing things two times or one time actually harkens back to the time when they were recording on records like actual vinyl records and there was a limited amount of space on a record so if they wanted to put five songs on a record they had to shorten some of the songs so that they would fit on the vinyl record 
um, any good hula dancer will tell you that we want to dance everything two times. We work so hard to learn this verse. At least let us dance it two times, if not three, okay? So I, th I just think it's very interesting because on a lot of Kahawanu Lake stuff, he will do two, one, 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 two. And that's not ideal for hula dancers. So I'm just saying to those of you out there who might be musicians, Keoho, if you're going to do a remake of Kahawanu Lake's version, can you please do two times each verse? Because your CD is infinitely long. It's just on the internet now. You don't have to cut it down to one verse because it makes all the hula dancers crazy. Just saying. Okay. Getting down off my soapbox. Uh, let's dance verse one and two. Verse one is two times. Verse two is one time of Waikiki Hula. Oh, I see a good question before I go. In the second verse, in the part of the wind, lave malie ea, you should not be moving your fingers because it's not a rain motion. It is just carrying the fragrance on the wind. So, for example, this one. Pai ho kamakani. Good question, Addy. This one is not moving the fingers. Just I'm moving very slow. So you can see my fingers should not be moving. They're just kind of um, floating on the wind. Okay? Maika iheni no maika. Very good question, Abby. Thank you for that one. Awesome. Okay. So here we go now with the music. I love getting these questions. That's awesome. Oh, I got to turn on my speaker butt. My speaker butt. Good? Hula. Huli, spin around. Time first yeah. verse, fully. job okay so we are getting ready to move on to the third verse and i'm actually going to in ins kalania kea my trusty assistant slash son no, I should, he's son slash assistant i'm just kidding okay so we're gonna talk a little bit about the third verse which is pauku e kolu and it says kaulana ko inoa now the word inoa should be familiar to those of you that study hawaiian language because if you ask someone you're asking them, what is your what is your name? So this verse doesn't say what is your name, but it says your name is Kaulana. Kaulana is famous, exactly. And it's who is it famous to? Not only the locals know his name, but the Malihini. Everyone repeat after me. Malihini. 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 Yeah, we often hear people say the word Malahini. Malahini. All the Malahini and the Wahini and the Kani. Okay, but this is the Malihini. The Malihini are the newcomers. Maybe like the tourists, right? The people who come to Hawaii to visit, the visitors. So even the visitors that come to Hawaii, they already know your name because you're famous all around the world, Prince Puhio. Yes, you are famous. Ask the people on Facebook. Is he Kaulana? Absolutely. That's the only reason you folks are here, I know. Okay. So we're talking about the place where he lived, Puolelani, but we're also talking about the prince himself. His beauty, his handsomeness was known all around the world. That's pretty cool, huh? Even at that time, when we didn't have internet or Facebook, he was famous all around the world. Now, I wanted to show you something very, very cool cool that was sent in by one of our viewers actually linda abbott i don't know if she's tuning in today but aloha linda i hope that you get to watch this because she 
emailed me and she said, oh, Kumu, you've been talking about Prince Kuhio. And I found something in my grandmother's um, home that you might be interested in. So she sent me this invitation. Can you see that? Come stand in front of me so that you're not. Okay. So this is from the Prince and Princess Kalaniana Ole. That's Prince Jonah Kuhio and his bride, Princess Kahanu Kalaniana Ole. She was originally from um, Kauai, but married Prince Kuhio. So this is from them in May of 19. 15, gosh, that's a long time ago, more than 100 years ago. And it was sent to Mr. and Mrs., I believe it's JFC or it's JJC. I'm not good with script. Someone tell me what that says. Haynes. Both the same letter, so maybe it's JJ. Anyways, this is to them. And let's read what it says. It says, Kamea Hano Hano, that's the prince, the majestic one. Kamea Hano Hano. <laughs> what a way to address yourself in an invitation, right? Ame ke kamali iwa hine kalaniana ole and the princess kalaniana ole. So she doesn't get to be hano hano. Anyways, ke kono aku nei iko olu olu e hoona nea melawa ikalu ana Hawaii. So they're inviting you, if it pleases you, iko olu olu to come and relax, hang out with them, melawa, ikaluana Hawaii, in a, at a luau, a Hawaiian luau. Yes, yeah. Ma, guess where? Pua Leilani. Can you see right where I'm pointing? It says Ma Pua Leilani. So at their home, at Pua Leilani, it really was what they called the place, right? Ahi ahi, ho alua, May 18th, 1915. So in the evening, on a Tuesday in May in 1915. Ooh, there were night owls. Hola Evalu. Their party's going to start at 8 o'clock. Can you believe it? My gosh. Okay. And noho ho'oliona. Maybe they're going to have a little bit too. Okay. And it says, Malihini hano hano o ka'aha o lelo o ka'kako aina makua. And my favorite part, on the very, very bottom in the corner, you know how when you get an invitation and it says, like, casual attire, or it says, formal wear, please. So on the bottom of the invitation, it says, a'ahu ke'o ke'o. A'ahu means clothing or costume or regalia. And ke'o ke'o is a color. What color is it? White. Absolutely. So that is why we decided to wear our finest white attire for hula today not because it's like ali sunday or something but well that's okay uh but we wanted to dress to the nines and pretend that we're going to the luana hawaii me uh kekamali'i vahine and kamehano hano yeah isn't that so cool you have a question what is it where so what is at the location that the Leilani used to be at. That, that is a great question. So Eames asked, what is at the location where Pua Leilani used to stand? And I am pretty sure, although we might have to go down there and do some reconnaissance, um, I'm, I believe it's sort of near where the Hyatt Regency is now. In fact, their, their shop, their shopping area is called the Pua Leilani Atrium Shop. So... I believe it's sort of in that area near, I know, right? You're just going to steal the prince's name. All right. We'll see how that goes for you. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> so I believe it's in that area. Um, and then there's a beach area where it's called Puhio Beach, right? And then there's a statue, and it's just kind of malka of that. So we'll go check them, go check them, go. Okay. I wanted to show you a few more photos because... He was, uh, Prince Jonah and Princess Kahanu were very well known for their parties. So here is a picture of Prince Jonah and Princess Kahanu arriving in a small chariot. Now, this is not a, a big party that they're going to. This was actually at Mana, um, at the home of Samuel Parker on the big island of Hawaii. And they arrived in high style in their, in their little carriage here. Um, but I, what I love is the next photo where you see Prince 
Uncle Hio hanging out with some of the guests. Isn't that just such a not princely pose? He's like spread eagle on the ground, playing with the dog. He's surrounded by all these ladies. Um, and But look at those lei and the mu'umu'u. I'm bringing back to the mu'umu'u, okay, folks? I don't care what people say. I'm going to bring back the mu'umu'u with some of my friends. I just signed up for a membership where I get to borrow mu'umu'u and wear them. So you're going to be seeing a lot of fun mu'umu'u coming up. Also, those papale, laohala, and the lei. Man, we got to get dressed up more often. They look fine. And, the, of course, the architect in the back is like, check out those banisters. That's my husband. He's the architect. Okay. So that is Prince Fuhio at Mana. Let's show them some more pictures. I just love these. Oh, okay. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. So this reminds me of maybe what that that white party might have looked like, um, right? Some of the guys are like, I don't have a white suit. Too bad. I'm just going to show up with what I got. But look at those ladies in their, their white dresses, kind of Victorian styled. I like the brother man over here. Can you go stand by the rocking chair? over there okay just next to Eames face you see that guy with his white suit white shoes nice hat everything white he got the memo about the uh -uh who keo keo right okay so if you want to know you can come back over here if you want to know which one is prince fuhio you see the the sign up at the top here where it says welcome hey, komo mai. okay so not the first gentleman but the second one over with his hat hanging over the banister. That is Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniano Ole. And this was a party that, um, that he helped to host. And this was for the delegation heading off to Washington, D.C. This is not the same party that we had the invitation for, but I thought this was pretty cool, too. So this is actually not at Pualeilani. This is, um, it became the Army-Navy Y. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so this is, yeah, Hai Sam, exactly. Yep, now known as the Hawaii State Art Museum. Yep, so this is a party held there. We should have a recreation of this, okay? My husband will be the one in the white suit. <laughs> okay, one or two more photos. Oh, I think this is the last one. And this is uh, just a gorgeous photo. We don't see too many photos of Princess Kahanu, but check out her sparkly gown. You can't even really get a gown this beautiful nowadays in 2021, but this is in the early 1900s. She just looks stunning. I tried to make my hair sort of like hers today. I was channeling Princess Kahanu. She got that big, big old brooch on, a long train, and she just looks like a boss lady. I, I think I would have loved her. So anyways, all dressed up, nowhere to go, just hula. <laughs> I think it's time for us to learn our third verse, which says, your name, your reputation is famous to the newcomers because your beauty, your stylishness, your nani is known. Puni kahonua, you are well known as the host or the hostess with the mostess, and everybody wants to come to your party. Okay, so are you ready? Let's hula. Okay. Kaulana koinoa. Okay, so... My kumuhula, le momi imal donado, she was famous for always doing the same famous motion. So, yes, kaulana is always going to be this motion. Your right hand is going to be outstretched to the side and left hand up. Sometimes she might go this way, but we're going to go this way. So, I'm mirroring you. Left hand is up, right hand is out to the side. Okay? So, let me move back just a little bit so you can see the palm of my hand. Kaulana, and then you're going to flip over. Koinoa, that's it. So it's very subtle. It's just a little flick of the wrist, in and out. Okay, ready, go. Kaulana, koinoa. Now, you have to think like you're walking up or down that staircase, and you're just checking out the people. Lock in your left hand to your waist. Look over the shoulder to the right. Inamalihini, eya. That's it. So it's like. Oh, my people over there, and my people over there. Exactly. Okay, kaulana, ready, and go. Kaulana, koinoa, ina amali hini eya. Good. Kaapuni kaunani. Kaapuni means around. So we're going to actually scoop down, 
And it's not going to go full circle. It's going to come right above your head so your hands are parallel. And then konani, you're going to come straight down to your chest, not too far. Okay, so scoop. Ka'apuni konani. Then your right hand is going to go out to the right angle. Puni kaho nua. And that's the whole verse. Then we get to vamp. Follow the hand. Ba ba da 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 Kaulana. Kaulana. Kauinoa. Inamalihini eya scoop. Kaapuni kaunani. Puni kaho nua. That's it. And always address your people. Look at the people. You don't want to drop the people on the floor. Kuhio was all about raising up the people. You raise me up. Okay, very good. You go, Daddy? Okay, so Kaulana is going to be a kaholo to the right. Kaulana, koinoa. Then we're going to kao. Inamalihini. So we got four kao. Is this? What? You knew it? He knew it. He was looking at that emotion. He thought to himself, I know what she's going to do. This is a one hit wonder, this lady. You betcha. You betcha I am. Okay. Kaulana going right. Kaulana. Dance with me. Koi no wa kao. Inamali hini eya. Then we're going to scoop. Ka oh, oh, I didn't tell you what to do with your feet, but he knew. Kaholo. To the right. Ka apuni kaunani. Now, this is the part where we have a little extra beat. So we're going to kaholo to the right. And then kao to the left. Hatum. And then holo. Bada bida 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 kaulana kao lana flip ko we know a ka o right inamali hini a scoop ka apuni ko nani puni ka ho nu up badum bada bida 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 that's it okay let's try it with the music badum but I'm ching. Okay. Looking out to the right. Here comes the bottom. Yeah. Oh no, only kao. That's it, that's it. So the bottom. The baram to the left is only going to be a kao baram. Okay, it's not a kaholo baram. Let's try one more time, just that kola na koi no a. We have kola na, famous to all the visitors, the newcomers, all around the world. Your beauty is known. Kao kola. Okay, we're going to try all three verses. I have to move Hina. She's getting in my way. Hina is the name of my ipu because she can't stand up. She falls down all the time. Okay, here we go. From the beginning, Waikiki Hula. <laughs> Ready to spin? Hey, hey, aloha. Hey, aloha. Beloved hey, is aloha. Waikiki. Waikiki. Hey, Whispering hey, sea. Kane, hey, okay, kai. Wind it back. Yeeha. Hey, aloha. Hey, aloha. Hey, aloha. Waikiki. Waikiki. Hey, Kane. Hey. That's it. So we 
we only have two more verses that we will finish next week. One of them, Ha'ina, actually retells the first verse. Um, so that one is going to be pretty easy. So we just have one really more verse to finish up next week after Prince Kuhil's birthday. So in celebration of his birthday, perhaps. Before we wrap up today, I want to thank you so, so much. Uh, we do have time for poi balls, if we're interested. So Imus is going to go grab his poi balls. And um, we're just so thankful for you joining us and being here week after week. Again, if everything felt like it was going crazy way too fast, I recommend that you go back and watch the replay of this video or of the past two weeks. Um, we also have archives of our videos that we've done over the entire year. We've been at this Facebook Live hula game since March of 2020. Um, our videos have gotten better, so if you watch some of the old ones, don't judge. Okay. So <laughs> anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed us. Let's do some poi balls to send us out. I got to pull up my poi balls music first. Where is my poi bowl? Where is my poi bowl? Okay, here we go. Hokey hokey? Maybe? Hokey hokey, toru fa. This is kind of fun. Hokey hokey, toru mai, te wa e runa o te I don't think they would do poi balls at the grand ball at Tuolelan, but maybe they would do fire poi balls. Once again, for joining us, it's been a fun time. Definitely be sure to join us next week. Um, we'll be wrapping up this mele on Saturday for Waikiki Hula. We also have a special uh, treat coming up on our Tuesday class. For those of you that didn't hear, we're actually going to be doing an interview with our dear friend Kumu Kahanuola of Eho'opili Mai, who wrote Ke Uka, which is the mele that we've been learning. So he's going to um, do an interview with us. We'll get to talk story about him, his background, his mele, and um, yeah. So that should be really fun on Tuesday. Definitely join us for that. Um, if not, then we'll see you back here on Saturday for Waikiki Hula. Uh, have a fabulous spring equinox. Let us know how you're celebrating. And um, also, don't forget to say happy birthday to Prince Jonah Kuhio this Friday for Kuhio Day. All right, I think that's it. Shall we say aloha? Bye, ahui ho.